One of the coolest things ever um, during the pre-spawn, if you're ever in doubt on where to start, some of the best places to fish in the early spring are man-made structural objects like marinas, retaining walls. They, they offer a lot of protection, especially on bigger lakes. The bass actually use these places to come in and spawn. We're coming off of a pretty solid cold front. So I'm, I'm really gearing down. I'm using four and a half inch finesse worms and we're really gonna slow down our presentation. There he is. So I'm, that's exactly what I'm talking about. These man-made objects, bass just can't resist them. And, and we're, like I said, we're coming off of a cold front. Whoa, we're coming off of a cold front. So what I'm doing is I went to the Yum four and a half finesse worm because I needed, I needed something with more of a subtle approach to it. All right. That ain't, that's not a bad bass right there. I'm throwing this one on a flick shake rig. The whole key, the whole key is a slow presentation. The flick shake sinks nice and slow. We have a lot of wind today. So I had to go to the flick shake to add some weight. And, I, and that fish took it on the drop as it was falling down. That's when that fish took the bait. Okay, so we started out fishing in the mouths of these man-made marinas. And we gradually worked our way back, to right to the highest percentage areas, which is usually the back two corners and the back wall, especially this time of year, because that's where all the bass are going to spawn. These are the highest percentage spots, so let me, I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna fish. And over there, if you notice, there's a beautiful shadow line. The shadow line happens to be right on the edge of the flat where it breaks off, and that's where I'm expecting to be catching them. There he is, got him. See that? As soon as it came through that, by that shadow line and right off of the drop, he got it. This is, this is like picture perfect. That's not a bad one. I should be real careful what I'm doing with this because I got light line, I only got eight pound. Right where he was supposed to be, right at the high percentage spot, four and a half inch finesse worm, not bad, whoa. <laughs> and my fish handling skills are money. There we go. Uh-oh. Sometimes you just gotta really take your time, poke around until you find them. And when you find them this time of year, they're gonna be ganged up. So just be patient, take your time. Remember the high percentage areas and you could narrow it down and you could be more effective because now we know that we can run in the back of every one of these marinas and just go all the way to the back and probably catch them like this out of every single one.